welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to film a kind of quick um, empty slash what have I been melting video. I've put this off for so long that I probably won't be able to remember everything I'd like to share with you. Um, I really don't have too much here because I only have my empties and there's a lot of stuff that um, you know I pull out of chunk bags or I melt clamshells that I'm not finished with yet or um, you know things like that so I don't definitely don't have everything that I've been melting here but just my empties for today um, real quick before I get into that I just wanted to kind of show you guys what I'm going to melt as soon as this video is over because I'm excited about it I'm gonna finish off this blueberry lemon loops from Ava's country cupboard so like a little pinwheel and I'm gonna pair that with some marshmallow zucchini bread from tiny tarts very messy bags. Uh, probably the way that I store them, I've kind of roughed them around, but um, I think that's going to be amazing together. So that's another reason why I wanted to uh, go ahead and just film this video real quick so I can put on that wax. Um, I don't like to melt wax while I'm trying to do wax videos if I'm sniffing things because I feel like it might mess with my sense a little bit. So anyway, all right, uh, I want to go ahead and start off with some of these tiny tart um, testers that I melted. I think I may have one or two left that I haven't melted yet uh, and I don't have the scent list with me so I'll just have to kind of guess which one I think is which because uh, they were just numbered so this one I believe was the strawberry spearmint crap <laughs> I already don't know uh, I don't know it's a very fruity scent I don't think this was strawberry spearmint but it was a very fruity scent um, I must have liked it. There wasn't one that I didn't like or that didn't throw for me um, at least four to six hours. So number nine is, this was that like tropical drink one. Maybe that was sex on the beach? Or um, that's not nine. I think that was supposed to be six. I don't know. Um, three was mm, perfect peach. She has an amazing peach. If you are weary about peaches or you know, you've, I was always scared because I kept hearing they smelled like cat pee. Hers doesn't. It smells very authentic to an actual peach. Uh, number eight. This was that fruit, fruity pebbles, not fruit loops. This one was really, really good. I split that in half with um, a ba another bakery scent. It threw really great. I think number one was dark vanilla. I don't think this one was as strong, but I'm not a huge vanilla lover. Maybe that wasn't dark vanilla. I think I melted dark vanilla. I don't know guys. I'm, hard, I'm not sure what that was. Number two. Oh, this was a really fruity one. Maybe this was best friends. I don't know. This, uh, no, no, no. The lemon verbena, coconut lemon verbena or something like that. Oh, that was amazing. That was my first time ever having that scent. So I definitely want to pick some more of that up. And uh, this was number nine. Okay, this was strawberry spearmint. This was my favorite just because the blend was so unique. It was the first time I had ever had a strawberry and spearmint blend. And I really love that. That kicked a butt in my bedroom. It melted. Like, I melted it one night. And I smelled it, like, through the afternoon of the next day. It was so strong. So next, I want to go over some of these um, Scent Shot Depot. Little scent shots I had to try out. Let me clean my screen really quick, guys. Let me just see if that helps. Sorry, I did clean it right before I started this video, but I'm trying to figure out why it won't focus. <sighs> I'm just so over this dang camera. Okay, let me pull these little ones out. Let's just talk about them really quick and knock it out of the out of the way. Okay, so this first one, um, and I'm sorry about my nails too, guys. That looks gross. Okay, this first one here is Mountain Dew Pound Cake, and this one was interesting. It was the first Mountain Dew scent that I've ever liked. I think I may have only had one or two before. Not many at all. I wish the cake was a little less strong. I actually wanted some more of that Mountain Dew, which surprised me because I thought that's what I wouldn't like about it, but it threw pretty well. Uh, grasshopper Cake, this was like a mint chocolate yeah not my favorite it threw decent maybe I got about three or four hours out of it um, but the scent was just not for me watermelon airheads and sherbet this one was great mm, so light and fruity and candy sweet I would definitely repurchase that uh, cranberry green apple blast this one was another really great scent 
the cranberry, there's something almost perfumey about it, but not in an annoying way, like in a really beautiful way. Mm, that was such a great scent. I would totally repurchase that one. Brown sugar glazed pineapple. This one threw me off. I got a lot of brown sugar and like a cake note and like vanilla, and I really wanted more pineapple. So for me, that would not be a repurchase, but it threw pretty well. And then lastly was the root beer float. This one was actually really good. I think this is the first one I melted. Mm, and that root beer, that fizziness in that root beer was just absolutely amazing. I didn't think I would like it um, just because. Yeah, I don't really like fizzy scents, but that one was just really good. I'll just put this over there. All right, I finished off this scent shot from Beezy's and Wildberry Moose Zucchini Bread. I had had a Beezy scent shot I got in a de-stash de a long time ago from Shauna Witt, and it was an ass wax de-stash, so I don't know how old the scent shot was. But I broke it, I split it in half in two of my downstairs warmers, and it threw like crazy. It's one of the strongest scents I ever had, and that was at the end, um, either the beginning of this year or the end of last year. And uh, so that's what, that was what made me make a busy order. Anywho, fast forward to this year, I had ordered this. This has been curing for several months, and it threw good, but it was not as amazing as the first time. So I'm assuming maybe the longer it sits, the better it gets. The smell is so amazing, though. I love his um, zucchini bread. Absolutely amazing. There's almost like an ice cream note to this. It's really good. I don't know if you can tell, but the lid is yellowing a little bit. Yeah, that's not showing up on camera. But um, I thought that was a little weird that the, the lid was yellowing. It was the only BZ I had. I finished off this partial chunk that Stacy Langston sent me. Thank you very much, Stacy. This was strawberry, uh, vanilla sugar waffle cone, and vanilla bean noel. This I put in my bathroom warmer. It was a pretty small piece, and I got no throw from it. I was really shocked. Um, I didn't smell it at all. So I don't know if it was because the vanilla sugar waffle cone and vanilla bean noel are pretty light scents, but um, I was kind of sad I couldn't smell it a little bit more. I melted it for about a day and a half, and I just never smelled anything. Next was Glam Curl Zucchini Crunch Berries from Rockets. Uh, this was a piped heart shape. Um, and the Glam Curl scent is Lemon Cotton Candy Buttercream Cake. So this one threw really, really good. It was such a yummy scent. I think I paired this with some blueberry, but I'm not sure. Um, either way, I know I really liked this and I would definitely repurchase this. I love Rockets lately. <laughs> Next, um, this Marshmallow Maple Zucchini. I actually melted this yesterday. I took the, this was a two pack of pinwheel tarts, the same shape as these, so it was a two pack of these, probably about three or so ounces in the whole bag. I took each one and put it in my downstairs warmer, so I did the whole pack at one time. It threw very strong, maybe I got about five or six hours of um, throwing it at about an eight, which is pretty good. I know I've heard other people say they get 12 hour throw, I just don't. I don't know if it's my, my ceilings or the fact that we always have ceiling fans and AC on. But uh, if I can get a scent to throw strong for six hours, it's a good scent for me. I like to change my wax a lot anyway, so um, that's just the way I prefer it in my house. But this one was really good. I would definitely repurchase that. Uh, this was from VCS upstairs at Graceland. I think I was a little bummed about this one. Um, I smelled a little bit of apple. I think we I melted this on um, Halloween, or no, the day before Halloween. We were carving pumpkins. Um, it wasn't very strong. I did smell it. I'd say it was maybe about a five or six in the background, but it just smelled better on cold than it did on warm. Uh, I would not repurchase this, but um, that's just me. Okay. Next was Marshmallow Wildberry Mousse Butter Cookies from Sassy Girl Aroma. This was disgusting. I absolutely hated this. Um, I personally don't care for Sassy Girl's Wildberry Mousse. I had it in a different blend and I didn't like it and I don't know why I held onto this. I guess I was thinking maybe I would like it. I melted this upstairs in my loft in my 24 watt Michaels hot plate warmer and I just, I had to turn it off. It was disgusting. Um, I wish I could remember exactly why. I just know I don't like her Wildberry Mousse and I think the butter cookie just kind of made it funky too. Um, so for me, that was one of the worst scents I've ever melted. Nothing against Sassy Girl Aroma. I think if you like her Wildberry Mousse, then you probably would have loved this. But for my scent preference, I hated it. I probably shouldn't have even melted it at all. I don't know what I was thinking. On the other end of the spectrum, I finished off this chunk bag and blueberry cheesecake zucchini. I've been melting a lot of this lately just because I've been loving blueberry uh, bakery blends. Just obsessed. 
This one was amazing. Fabulous throw. It was long. It was strong. It blends great with so many different things. Um, what I tend to love to do is melt like a blueberry bakery blend with another blueberry bakery blend and just go crazy with it. So this is totally a repurchase for me and I hope that she stocks it soon because I need this ASAP. Oh, let's see. Next I have a sample from the bathing garden. This is in Winter Woodland. I had to turn this off. This was so strong. This was like a Christmas tree scent. I'm sure it has different notes, but it mostly smells like Christmas trees to me. And it smelled really good. It threw like crazy. It threw so strong I had to turn it off because it gave me a headache. Um, so in retrospect, just that little sample I would have cut in half and probably put in a bathroom. But uh, I can't melt something that strong in like the living room right where I'm sitting right next to the warmer. Um, total headache. I also melted Jack's Apple Frost in my bathroom and this was really good. Um, it had a light mint scent but it was mostly a really beautiful green apple and um, I really liked it. kind of wish I hadn't melted it in the bathroom because it was so pretty. I think I could have put it in my loft or something but um, I would repurchase that scent. It was really nice. Next is Loretta's Haunted Plantation House. This is also from VCS. This threw, uh, I'd say probably at a six for maybe about five or six hours. Um, it was okay. It wasn't my favorite. This is that blend that has that cream soda. So I think it was a little bit lighter, the actual scent. And the um, blend just wasn't really for me. It wasn't a favorite of mine. It was nice to have something a little bit different. But definitely not something that I would repurchase or like crave to melt on my own. All right, so now we're just into some super tarts. I'll start off, this is um, one of the last scent shots I have from super tarts in Mama's Family. This is like a laundry blend. Um, I had broke this into fours and have been melting it in my upstairs bathroom. It's a nice clean smell. I get it, I get to melt it for about a whole day. Um, I wouldn't repurchase this just because the scent isn't my favorite. Yeah, um, not something, it's just not for me. But it threw decently well. Next, I finished off Pan. Ocean Water Supernova, which is a sweet citrus lush type, and strawberry slices. I had been melting this all over my house, and then I think I melted the last one or two cubes in my downstairs bathroom, and it threw very well. Um, I would repurchase this. It was pretty good. I don't know why this won't. I'm trying to focus for you guys. whatever. Um, I remember when I first smelled this on cold, I was just blown away. I loved the way it smelled and it's, I mean, it's still good. I do like it. I just, it's not something I have to rush back for right now, but uh, probably something that I will pick up again in the future. Next is Dobby, which is linen sock, ocean mist, and dune grass. I hate this scent. Absolutely hate it. It was okay when I first bought it. I melted it a few times and I just never reached for it because it just wasn't my favorite. And so I was going through my drawers pulling out scents I wanted to keep in my bathroom so that they would be handy and I could just go ahead and, you know, pop in a new scent. And so I kind of forced myself to put this in my downstairs bathroom area um, so I could melt through it. And every time I put it on, I just hated it. Uh, I think it's the linen sock or the dune grass because I like ocean mist as a scent. It was just so, yeah, there's one scent in here that I just absolutely hate. It's a weird laundry scent, so I'm assuming it's that linen sock. Barf Central for me. I just, ugh, I hate that scent. Alright, uh, next is White Walkers from Game of Tarts. This was a scent, I think, I think I picked this up just because of Kim. Because she said that she really enjoyed it, or I either had it and hadn't melted it because, and then I did after she mentioned something, or I picked it up just because she said how great it was. Either or, she was freaking right. As soon as I melted this, I think the first time I did, I put it in my bedroom, I was blown away. It's very minty. It's a spearmint, peppermint, fresh mint leaf, and vanilla bean noel. But the vanilla bean noel is so creamy and strong. You really get it. And it just blends all the mints so well together. This is a repurchase for me. Mm, I need to pick it up really, really soon. This is another really great comforting mint blend that's similar to, say, Middle Earth. That you can melt if you didn't feel well or if you had a headache. That would really comfort you. And last... But not least, um, I have some Jaws blends that I finished. First up is Skinny Dipping, which is Jaws with Passion Fruit. Um, I would repurchase this one. It was pretty good. Not my favorite of the Jaws collection, but I really enjoyed it. It threw very well. Um, I've actually 
The only issue I've ever had with a Jaws blend is Silver Surfer, which is Jaws and The Omen. So very um, fresh spa type scent. I can't really get that one to throw. So I've designated that for bathroom melts from now on and I, that's not a repurchase for me, even though it smells great. But um, other than that, these fruity, um, the actual Jaws um, blends always throw great for me. So yeah, I would, ugh, so good. I would totally repurchase that one. Next is Amity Island, which is Jaws and Rosemary Mint. This is a really, really comforting blend. Um, the Rosemary Mint's really strong, but and then the, I said the Jaws is in the background, but you do smell it. I have a little bit more of this in another clamshell, um, so I don't need to repurchase it now, and I know I will at one point, but I think once I run out, I'm not going to immediately run to buy some more just because I have so many mint blends. But it is definitely one that you need to have if you enjoy mint and you like fresh scents that's amazing. And my absolute favorite, Get Out of the Water, this is uh, my favorite scent from any vendor, anywhere, anytime, Strawberry Jam and Jaws. Um, I had one cube left of this that I was holding out and I finally decided to melt it when I placed my order for Jaw, um, the Jaws clam she just restocked last week. My daughter had been begging me to melt it and I wouldn't. so. Um, she knew that I had placed an order for more and then she brought it downstairs and gave me that little evil eye look just to see what I would do and uh, I think I surprised her when I said fine and we'll melt it and we did and it was amazing. This is so good you guys. That strawberry jam is so fabulous. It's unlike any other strawberry scent that I've really had. It's not fresh picked. It's like a cross between fresh, pick, fresh picked and candied strawberry. And then the jaws just blends with it. Like you don't smell one over the other. They blend together to create their own note. It's so amazing. So I'm so happy to have some more of this so I can actually melt it and not feel guilty about it. So that is my empties video for now. I'm working on some more for you guys. I really just wanted to knock this out because the longer I hold on to it, the harder it is for me to remember um, what smelled like what and, you know, to give you guys some feedback. So... Hopefully I can get back on the melting train and get you guys some more empties and actually have a really big one that I can remember really well um, and just start melting through my stash. So thank you guys for watching um, and I'll see you guys soon. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Bye.